Hi guys and welcome to this week's video tutorial. This would mark the, uh, another new variation in the central cannon versus screenhouse defense. Um, this is not so commonly seen, but Black would <coughs> adopt a very powerful and aggressive counter by developing his right chariot as a ranked chariot. So without further ado, let us begin. S central cannon. Screenhouse Defense. Again, both colors choose the P7 plus 1 variation, Pawn Rank Chariot, and this would be the topic of discussion for this spot and the next spot. Now, Black could develop his right chariot as a rank chariot very early in the game, by the fifth ply, in fact, and the idea is to try to deploy the chariot into battle as early as possible for a powerful counter. <coughs> now, uh, this is uh, quite an aggressive counter and the upside is that black would be able to create very intense situations however the downside is that uh, often his own formation would be still immature and be prone to counter uh, sudden attacks by red uh, this is uh, this variation uh, developing the rank chart so early is an improvement over the very traditional left elephant and rank chariot variation whereby black would develop the chariot before playing e7 plus 5. Usually, Red will counter they develop his left horse as a proper horse to strengthen his central file and also to attack. Now, this is one of the earlier methods of play in this uh, in this opening system. And Red will play r1 equals to 4. Now, this would be the position of discussion. Uh, but before we continue, now if black played e7 plus 5, this would uh, transposition back to, uh, this would be one of the older commonly played variation called the left elephant rank chariot variation. So a possible line would be r2 equals to 3, r equals 7, r9 plus 1, c8 plus 2. Now c8 plus 2 would be to prepare to trade pawns to allow for development of this horse and also to hopefully build up some defense along the riverbank. And red will usually play r9 equals to 6. He cannot play r9 equals to 2 thinking that he will capture the pawn because black has p2 plus 1. And if after p2 plus 1, if let's say black captured, red captured the cannon, red would push this pawn forward, threaten this cannon, as uh, chariot, sorry. If the red chariot moved, this chariot would uh, move away. So black can only capture and it will be one red chariot for two black pieces so early in the game but black would have two chariots ready to go so early p7 plus one is a is a huge threat etc so uh, red's plans would have fallen through and red would not want this to happen so that is why red cannot play r9 equals to two instead can, should play r9 equals to six to command this rip file and prevent the red black chariot from attacking and because of R9 equals to 6, red cannot play R9, R1 equals to 4 to attack this flank. So P3 plus 1, and red will go ahead with uh, attacking a central file. And this is one of the common variations in that uh, system which has been uh, discussed in another video. Anyway, with as can be seen, as can be compared, because red had played R9 equals to 6. Uh, the, the improvement by Black was to try to command this rip file as early as possible to try to attack this flank over here. So at this point in time, there are three main variations. The first would be P5 plus 1, C8 equals to 9, and R2 equals to 3. Now, this, let us first start off with variation A. Again, with any central cannon board, an attack along the central file, a discussion of the attack along the central file is mandatory. So with p5 plus 1, red starts his attack on the central file, his horses are ready to go and black, because black had used up several moves to move the chariot, he had not upped his defenses yet. So black would usually counter with r4 plus 5, and red would be merciless, uh, in his, uh, relentless in his attack with p5 plus 1. Now uh, this is a rapid, a, a rap rapid attack method of uh, playing the game. If we play c8 plus 4, Black could simply retreat this cannon and prepare to move it to the central file to counter uh, Red's cannon. So, p5 plus 1 would perhaps be a better move. 
and again black retreats his cannon preparing to place it equals to 5 and red will now deliver a discovered check with p5 equals to 4 now this the situation is starting to become complicated there are two other methods the first uh, possible the first method will be to play c8 equals to 9 whereby red will try to develop his left flank and target this cannon since uh, it has this cannon had now moved but uh, black would have after trading chariots red tries to develop black first develops uh, de uh, delivers a check and then pushes the cannon f forward and as can be seen the power of this rank chariot will now can now be appreciated black's left flank is very congested black would have commanded the central file and black would now have seized and commanded the initiative so hc8 equals to 9 will be too slow in this situation as uh, when you attack the central file things have to be very quick what about playing c8 plus 4 hoping to double down and control the central file black would immediately again play c8 equals to 5 uh, as mentioned earlier one of the best ways to counter the central cannon is to counter with a central cannon of your own so r2 equals to 3 black would not want to trade instead he want to apply pressure c5 plus 3 a check red links the uh, horses up preparing to develop c5 plus 3 a no nonsense move directly trading away the cannon p5 plus 1 to attack red attacks the horse uh, plus 2 and as can be seen this horse would have trouble developing further uh, black can have black's defense is soundproof at the moment red cannot do much uh, at this point in time so that can be satisfied with this situation so r8 plus 4 uh, C A plus 4 is not viable and in this board P5 plus 4 is discussed in the main line C A equals to 5 after trading chariots now if red played R2 equals to 3 black would be able to play R4 equals to 3 at this point in time linking the horses would not be possible because black would gain material so red would not have gained anything for his efforts and should trade chariots and after trading chariots, trade the cannons and Brett will adopt a defensive stance capture the pawn, threaten here's 7 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2 and the situation will be liquefied uh, uh, 2 out of the 6 major pieces have been traded away and uh, it will be a very calm situation so uh, it will be easy, the game will become would tend to be a draw very easily so this would be variation a if you play p5 plus 1 now if variation b c8 equals to 9 again this is a common tactic by black you you move your cannon to real to give an open line to your chariot i push my cannon forward so again uh, red would continue and try to attack the central file now it would not be a good idea at this point in time to play r9 equals to 8 because c2 equals to 7 attacking the elephant forcing it away and black would immediately um, trade chariots and after trading chariots uh, red is more than able to hold his own his defense is impeccable and um, red does not have any good attacking uh, counters at this point in time what about p3 plus 1 if p3 plus 1 after trading pawns black would gladly sacrifice the horse black would gladly sacrifice the horse so for example if this move black would check and start his attack over here he'll be more than happy to sacrifice material etc for attack so the situation will become very complicated uh, and perhaps black will be faster in this uh, in this attack etc so p5 plus 1 again the main idea main main uh, black would pin all his hopes on, on the 
chariot getting to this position uh, 9 equals to 8 and c8 minus 1 now this is a uh, very agile move uh, whereby you give black many options of first will be c8 equals to 5 the next will be c2 c8 equals to 2 to attack the chariot uh, black could be very aggressive as he, as he will strive for confrontation as early as possible p9 plus 1 this would allow red to play c9 plus 1 to attack the chariot and gain material and black would play c8 equals to 5 now it would not be a good idea especially earlier to play c8 equals to 2 because red would trade chariots after trading chariots because red had played p9 plus 1 this move would fall apart if the chariot moved this this piece will be lost and we will be able to attack and this cannon is protected by the horse <coughs> so sorry so uh, c8 equals to 2 is not a good idea after red hat pushed p9 plus 1 so c8 equals to 5 offering a trade of chariots red accepts the material is traded again red goes for c9 plus 1 forcing a trade of material and h3 plus 5 red gets to develop his central his horses in the process uh, good move Try, black tries to liquefy the situation and it will dissolve red's offensive temporarily now the situation on the board will now slowly become liquefied because let's say if red continued with r8 plus 7 to try to attack black would be more than happy to trade material and after trading material this it will be a basically even situation so you neither color will have the obvious upper hand and it will be very hard for either color to gain a significant advantage to win so uh, this would be basically an even situation and this would be variation b whereby c8 equals to 9 is played now let us go to variation c whereby red does go for the horse with r2 equals to 3 black will retreat this is one of the common usages of the cannon over here in the screen horse defense one cannon protects the horse the other retreats and maneuvers and tries to dislodge any offending enemy red plays c8 equals to 9 and uh, because red had moved his chariot earlier to pin the horse and to limit black's material red will now dare to continue with r9 equals to, to to form an attack from both both sides uh, at this point if he played p5 plus 1 c8 equals to 7 he's lodging the chariot moving the horse p5 plus 1 check forcing the horse to an awkward position red traded like red will simply move the move the horse across for attack and p7 equals to 6 unfortunately black would have this move and black will lose tempi because now the cannon will be attacking the elephant the horse and is ready to go this flank is virtually empty so despite his intentions of attacking the central file red would actually fall behind and that's why p5 plus 1 is not a good idea so c8 equals to 9 for more balanced development is needed so if r4 plus 1 to protect the, the, the horses in preparation for uh, attack on our central file and also possibly r9 equals to 8 so uh, red will usually con continue p5 plus 1 if he fell into black's trap and move r9 equals to 8 Red will first, black will first play c8 equals to 7 to dislodge the chariot only viable move r4 equals to 6 to offer a trade of chariots and after trading chariots the moves that red had used up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 would have been wasted traded away and black would have the opportunity to adjust his formation black's formation is now very well coordinated adequate defense over here and a blistering attack waiting to happen on this file so black's formation is very okay that is why p5 plus 1 is not a good idea and the reasons for making r4 plus 1 are now clear so black could usually dislodge the red chariot forcing it away and then offer a trade of chariots again 
uh, this will be a pseudo sacrifice p, p black can only move c7 equals to 5 instead of capturing the chariot if he did p5 plus 4 pseudo sacrifice this will be discovered check red would uh, would capture back the chariot and also take an opportunity to move advance his pawn closer and closer to the enemy palace so red would have a significant advantage because this pawn would be a, would be a major headache and an immediate issue that black must address coupled with the fact that red could develop his left flank now this would be relatively weak so red would have the advantage so that is why r6 plus 1 is not a good idea instead black must try to maintain this current position R4 equals to 3, check, and black retreats his cannon again to transfer to dislodge the black red chariot and also attack. Now as can be seen, the chariot is now stuck. Uh, it cannot move here, here, or here, or here, because all these intersections are have been uh, guarded. So now if red played hc5 equals to 3, Red will be given a chance to play R9 equals to 8 and prevent the chariot from being captured. Again, Red will not, Black will not be in a hurry to catch this cannon. He will still gain material and Red will have the initiative. So C2 minus 1, C5 plus 3 check. The only way to give this chariot an open line. C5 equals to 6, attack. Red defense in the nick of time, he would have a slight advantage. Now e3 plus 5 is better than e7 plus 5 because of the presence of the cannon over here that might attack it. So at this point in time, Red will have a slight advantage, but Black will still have a very playable game and a very staunch defense. So uh, this is a little bit, a little complicated, this uh, rank chariot variation. Now let us do a quick review of this bot in from the eyes of black. Central cannon, screen house defense, and this will be the topic of discussion. In, before any moving, move, before moving any elephant or advisor, black immediately starts his counter with a rank chariot. Now this will strengthen his over, overall counter. But the downside is black had not defended, and he will be vulnerable to sudden attacks by red. Red goes R8 plus 7 and red, black co commands this very important file preventing H7 plus 6 from happening. This would be the position of discussion. Uh, if E7 plus 5, it will lead back to one of the more commonly seen variations with the left elephant rank chariot variation. So in this rank chariot variation, R1 equals to 4. Three main variations were discussed p5 plus 1, c8 equals to 9, r2 equals to 3. In variation A, p5 plus 1, red attacks the central file, which is a mandatory topic in all central cannon boards. r4 plus 5, black pins all his hopes on the chariot getting to this uh, intersection. p5 plus 1, red repeatedly charged the pawn forward. Now you see it plus 4, c8 minus 1 to counter. C8 minus 1, P5 equals to 4, a discovered check, counter, trade. If black did not want to trade, red would, black would also play H4 plus 3 and threaten to gain material. Now, uh, black cannot capture because the cannon is guarding it and his horse and cannon will now be in all sorts of trouble. So it equals to 8, after trading material, the situation has come down a little bit and it will be a relatively even situation. Variation B, C8 equals to 9. If, if you try to go for to develop your foul chariot, black would usually counter this manner to get the cannon across the river. And P5 plus 1. If R9 equals to 8, uh, Black is more than able to hold his own after trading material and uh, he can now defend accordingly uh, by moving the relevant elephant advisor. P3 plus 1. Black will find himself 
in an attacking situation even as he is prepared to sacrifice material. 4 plus 5. C8 minus 1 again. Very versatile, agile move, preparing to uh, gain material. 9 plus 1, sneaky move, threatening to play C9 plus 1. C8 plus 5 is all correct because Red had played P9 plus 1, so if he plays C8 equals to 2, Black would lose material. Oh, sorry, uh, Black would, Black would, uh, Black's offense would be off if he traded chariot, sorry. Uh, 2 equals plus 3, <coughs> trading material. Situation is liquefied, more material is traded, and it's basically an even situation. In variation, thus variation, R2 equals to 3. Again, C8 minus 1 is a key move by black in this situation. R9 equals to 8. Now, if he attacked P7 plus, uh, sorry, black would be able to form a, formulate an attack and red would lose tempi. P5 plus 1, a very good move to defend. C equals to uh, 7 to dislodge the chariot, uh, forcing a trade. Red attacks, good move. If he played R6 plus 1, P5 plus 4, should have advantage and the pawn will charge forward. R4 equals to 3, and after trading material, uh, Red would have a slight advantage, but Black is quite well off, so uh, Black can be happy with this situation also. So I hope you've enjoyed this slightly long video. It's rather complicated, but there's only one or two videos studying the right rank chariot variation. Uh, if you like the work that I've been doing, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.